today I'm making this Ariana Grande wake up with your girlfriend look. So if you want to know how I have made it, just keep watching. First, I'm starting up with foundation as usually. And I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty from Wehanna's collection. Take it here on your hand. Take it all over your beauty blender. I'm just going to puff it. So all around. Cover those wetness and my forehead is very shiny. So I'm going to cover that up a bit. I don't want my skin to be a little greasy. <laughs> and by the way, maybe you can hear some kids outside, but it's because it's Friday night here in Denmark. Remember the neck with your beauty blender just go all the way down. All right, so we're going to take another foundation and I'm going to use Loyal Paris True Match, the number five sample, it's called Sand. And again, I'm taking some of my foundation on my hand so we can mix those two colors nicely together. And blend, 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 blend. Always blend. It's a tiny bit darker, the true match, but Fenty is a little too light for my skin, so I'm going to use both of them to find my perfect shade. Also go down my neck again here and blend it nicely together. So now you're done with the foundation and next on we're going to take some concealer on my skin. I'm using Maybelline New York Fit Me. So Take a layer underneath your eyes and up here at the side. Same here, all the way down and the side of your eyes. And go above your nose and down and up with your forehead here. Just do some strokes. And at the side of your nose, you're going to take a tiny bit. So now we'll take your beauty blender again and blend it all in. Finally, I'm going to use my finger to blend the rest. So just go and blend it nicely in underneath your eyes, above your nose, chin. Just go all the way to make sure you are blended in nicely. I personally love concealer because it just hides when you are tired or I don't know, have a hangover, whatever. It hides everything. So. Is the key. <laughs> Use concealer that fix everything and you will look so fresh and awake. I'm going to use Irene the Diva palette. Ariana has very matte brown shade colors to her eyes. It is very blended in the crease. So that is what we're going to create today. So first off, I'm going to take this fake it and I'm going to take this all over my eyelid. Take a tiny brush. Just go all over your eyelid with this product. You can see it just mattifies your eyelid then nicely well in. Apply it all over. Beautiful. We're going to move on to the crease and define it. And I'm going to take this MILF color. Apply it nicely all over your crease. All the way here. And you want to apply it high up to your brows to make your eyes look a tiny bit bigger. And you're going to extend it down here like a little wing with your eyeshadow. Go a bit deeper in the crease. You can actually do some pushes just like this and you will go a little bit deeper in the crease. When you're done with that, you're going to use a blending brush and I'm going to blend it nicely together. So all the way here, like this. Now we're going to take a tiny more darker color. We're going to use this No Drama and I'm going to take this and apply it on the color just made. Go ahead and apply it 
nicely at the inner corners. Ariana used lots of brown matte colors. I think she does it because she wants those big Bambi eyes. Go all the way down. And take your blending brush again and blend it. All right, here you have your eyeshadow. We are going to move on to the liquid eyeliner to get that cat eye effect. This eyeliner is from Sandstone, black and bold. You can use some tape at the side so you can draw it after the tape and it will make it very beautiful. So take it on your side here, right here. So let's apply the eyeliner. Just go all the way. And I'm going all the way down to my lashes with the eyeliner. And you want the eyeliner to be very thick. So now the liquid eyeliner is ready and applied, so you are going to take the tape off. So when you applied your cat eye and you have succeeded with it, we are ready to take some mascara. I'm using a limited mascara here, like this, and it's from L'Oreal Paris. Go all the way with your lashes. Big lashes. So now we're moving on to the bottom lashes here and I'm going to take my MILF color all the way down your bottom lashes. So take a tiny brush and bring the color down here. Like this. Go ahead and take your blending brush and blend it nicely together. Take your mascara and put some on your bottom lashes. Ari has some glitter at the inner corners and above her eyeliner and down at uh, the bottom lashes. So I'm taking another eyeshadow palette. I'm taking this eyeshadow palette from the Insure. Eyeshadow Symphony is it called. And I'm going to use this very shimmery color. And she has some on her in her creases here. And it go all the way up here. And you want to apply a lot of the product going all the way up here. This, you can actually see the shimmer, it's so beautiful. I personally love shimmer, it gives something to a look. All right, like this. And then she has something down her button lashes here at the side of the eye. All right, so take your finger and blend it out a bit so it won't look that sharp. So moving on to the other eye, and we're going to do exactly the same. Ta-da! Now moving on to the brows, I'm going to use La Paris High Contour Brow Artist today. It has a highlighting stick here, and it has the color here. So we're going to start off with apply some of the colors on your brows. And I want to define my brows um, not that long, because Ari has um, thick but very short brows, so we're going to try to do that. So I'm not going to take all the way down to my natural hair here. We're going to stop. And find your shade here. And find your hairs and paint them up. So it will look more natural. And find that some of those spots where you don't have so much hair and cover it. 
I'm going to take a brush here. So I'm going to brush my hair up so I can define my brows. And I'm taking the color again. You don't want to make the brows too high. She have a very straight eyebrows. So you don't want to give your eyebrows that bow. Like this. So I'm going to stop here. I'm not going all the way down. Press them up so you blend the product nicely in. So just go. The difference. So when you have a brush, the eyebrows nicely together. We're going to take this highlighting stick, apply it here and go all the way so you get that sharp line. And your upper brow here, go take it. Like this. And you're going to use your finger and just blend it in. And dab it dab 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 here. Dab dab dab. So now we have your first brow and I'm going to move on to the other. Now you're done with your brows and your eyes. And we are ready to move on to the contouring. So Ari in this video or in general, she really have very sharp features and cheekbones. So we're going to create that today. And for that, I'm going to use this NYX Wonder Stick and it highlights and it contours. So start up with the contouring here and you can see it's pretty dark. The cheekbones and just take a tiny stroke here and you want to draw it up. Um, at the hairline here and down go here and the same it's kind of funny when you're doing this because you are thinking what what I'm doing I look I look so funny <laughs> so down your neck here also good and take some of your nose she has a very small nose so we're going to this side here like this I'm taking my beauty blender and I make sure it doesn't look crazy I really like contouring I think the Kardashian family uh, bring it to life Kim and her sisters are always using contouring and it just make your face that slim. It make it slimmer and more defined in some way because it just highlights your features. So go above your forehead here and blend it nicely in to the hairline. Great, and now your neck here. All right, so I'm very careful with the nose. So that's why I'm using my fingers so it, it doesn't look greasy. So I'm just taking it all the way up here and here. Um, I started doing makeup when I was like 12, 12, 12 years old, maybe. I started watching YouTube videos and the first person I actually watched was uh, Michelle Phan and she was my big inspiration and she still is I think she is so amazing and her makeup is just flawless and creative and you know every little tricks I just think I want to do that someday I, I want to try that out and here I am yeah so if you haven't watched her check it out all right, so when you're done with the contouring, you are moving on to the bronzer. And I'm going to take this one from the body shop. So I take a brush here, my unicorn brush. I just love them. I think they are so cute. Make sure I don't have too much product on because then you will get that sharp line and uh, that doesn't look very good. And it's very hard to save again. <laughs> so just, 
find the cheekbone here and warm up the face. Like this, so go all the way up here and down and down your neck, just stay prepared. You can also take a tiny bit here, kind of color paint your body. All right, so I just used a lot of bronzer here. We're going to define my face features. Take a tiny bit and take it on your nose where you also have applied some of the contouring. Make sure you don't knees when you're doing this. <laughs> it would trigger it. Top up here and down. And I'm moving on. I'm going to take this brush here um, from Max Factor. So just take it. Just to warm up the face just a tiny bit, not too much. You can go down here as well. And the same you're going to do with the other cheek here. I really personally like Ariana Grande. Um, I like that she's very herself. She's not anyone else. She's just completely herself. And I like her music. She has an incredible voice also. Ariana Grande was actually my boyfriend's number one on his uh, Spotify list from 2019. So that was pretty fun. He knows that I'm saying this, so. Hello! Hello. <laughs> yeah, you, you're going to see him in some of my other videos. He is amazing. So I'm moving on to my lipstick. And I'm going to use this Isadora Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. And it has this matte uh, color to it. And it will make your lips a tiny bigger. It actually has this kind of color like Kylie Jenner's lipsticks. I actually want to have some more Kylie Jenner cosmetic. And her products in general, I think she made such uh, beautiful eyeshadow palettes. All those bright colors and everything, I just think it looks amazing and I want to try it out. Alright, so Kylie, please sponsor this video and give me some products. I really want it. Calm down, Josephine, calm down. Calm down. Alright, let's get those lips done. You will see it. You take your finger and blend it out. Duck face. That's a good look. Alright, so she has a tiny bit of shimmer on her lips. So I'm going to take again this Fenty uh, Beauty lip gloss. It smells like honey. I love products that actually smells good and not smells like medicine. All right, so take it all over your lips here and just give your lips a nice shimmer. All right, my favorite beauty products at this time. I think my number one is Fenty. Um, she has that beautiful design to it. I really like it. And also I think Kylie Jenner do a great job too. But I don't know which one has the best beauty product. They are both very good. What do you guys think, Kylie Jenner or Rihanna? So Fenty or Kylie Jenner Cosmetic? Name your favorite in the comments. I really want to see it. All right, so we are still with the lips and I'm talking. All right, so here we have your beautiful lips. We are moving on to highlighter. And I'm going to say La Vie and Glow from La de Paris. I don't know if I am pronounce it well, La Vie and Glow. So I'm going to use these two colors here. This uh, shimmer, whitey, golden color and this more rosy color. I'm going to blend them together. So taking your highlighter brush here and just mix those two colors together. And above your cheekbones here and down your chin and 
at the middle of the nose above your eyebrows and do the same here you're going to just take a highlighter here and you can see this sharp highlighter line like this the last thing you want to do is to using a setting spray i love setting sprays because it will make it, my makeup last longer everybody looks so pretty when i do this i think i look so funny but So just take your hands and blow dry the face a bit here. This will also make your face more fresh. All right, so here we have the Arugrena look. And uh, yeah, I actually think I pretty much love this cat eye look. I think it's so cute. So I hope you like this look. And if you did, then please like, subscribe and hit the bell. And I will see you in another video very soon. Bye! Hello. Hey. How are you doing? <laughs>